Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma. And you know, what I want to talk about right now is what I constantly talk about every month, which is rates. Uh, what is the interest rate going to be now? You know, in about a year's period of time, the Federal Reserve raid, uh, raised the Fed funds rate uh, about 500 basis points. It's effective. Historically, it's hard to find anything like that. But inflation was running hot again wasn't quite what it was in 1978 when we had uh, a prime rate of uh, what, about 20% uh, in the Volcker years, but it was getting to that double digit phase. And so the Fed really, really clamped down on this. Now, remarkably, uh, people thought the housing industry would collapse. It didn't collapse, especially in markets like in Oklahoma City and Tulsa, where the market is affordable and people could still buy something like a new home at $180,000 or $200,000. But what happened in December really buoyed the market for lower rates because the Fed for the second month in a row said, we're not going to raise rates. We're pausing. We're heading in the right direction. Things are looking really, really good on inflation. You know, it's running about three, three and a half percent going down. And so what we're going to do is not only pause, but we're going to get more dovish. So. They had talked about having two uh, interest rate reductions in 2024, which normally is going to be about 25 basis points. But now they said, we're going to put three on the table and we're going to look at the market and look at the economy and the, and the money supply to make sure that we don't overheat the market. So instantaneously, 500 basis point increase went down to 400 because just on that announcement alone, it went down 100 points. Now, you're gonna have, let's say on three at 25, you're gonna have another 75 points, but anytime this happens, then all of a sudden it kind of has a multiplier effect. Now, we're not gonna go back to the interest rates that we had in the COVID years, because basically we were having to subsidize the economy in so many different ways that was very productive, but did create this inflationary spiral that we're in right now, but we stayed out of a, of a recession, in fact, 100% of, of uh, economists said we wouldn't be, we would be in a recession last year and we weren't. So things are looking good. A little bit of soft landing in a recession. It's not going to hurt us. Recessions are normal things. Rates are going down. They'll probably go down further in 2025 unless some strange thing happens. So the good news is, is that we're starting to see positive cash flow on investment properties. And we're seeing the Fed believing that they can control the inflation. Now, one other thing I'll throw out that I think is going to control inflation is the fact that AI and artificial intelligence is lowering the cost of companies. And so that's another factor that's deflationary. I think 2024 is going to be a great year for rates and a great year for real estate investors.